Hi Scorpio, welcome to your energy reading. It's my pleasure to read for you, as you know. And as you know, these readings are timeless and signless, so you don't have to actually be watching this video at the time that it's being published. And you don't actually have to have any significant Scorpionic placements um, in your natal chart for the messages to be for you. If it's for you, then yay! Use your discernment, of course. And if it's not, then I would invite you to uh, come back later and see whether the messages resound at that time. If you'd like to work more personally with me, you know exactly where to find me on my Etsy page. Uh, you can find the link on this page wherever you're watching. Uh, I was struggling to get through that speech because every time I looked at the Scorpio energy, like because because I'm actually looking out the window and then I glance back to you guys here, uh, it's like uh, does that I get? It's almost like caught in my all my words get caught in my throat and actually. A card fell off the table here. Look at it. it says grounding. Fell. Look, it's still like it wants to keep turning. It's like it's still falling. So what's going on with you, Scorperino? So let's go ahead and put that there. I'm also seeing a birthday cake. Oh. Uh, oh my God. It's it's Scorpio season, right? October, November, December. What's today? Oh my gosh. Okay. See, what, what do I even do with my life sometimes? <laughs> yeah, that's what they're. Okay. Happy birthday. Yay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Um, my bad, guys. Uh, yes, it's Scorpio season. Yes, it's... Oh. November. Okay. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Um, let's fill into these energies. It's almost like you're in an elevator that's just going... I'm getting... Some of you may be in, el in an elevator that feels trapped. Like it's trapped. You, um, you're trapped in the elevator where the elevator's not going or some of you it feels like the elevator is just going down 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 it's still going down so I'm not sure look at the first cards yeah hold your center see I'm not sure what it is that's oh okay we're gonna do some energy work on you because you need to be set free look at that yeah you need to be set free so we're gonna take a moment and do some energetic work on you that's you that no that looks like libra god bless and libra's like you can borrow my visage <laughs> two minutes 22 seconds right so wisdom of the divine feminine look at this card peeking out you're about to receive what's this card stop it invitation to connect you're receiving right now so let's go ahead and take a moment so let me just see what that card is underneath life path oh there's some heavy learning that's coming in that whatever you just went through or that is going to be illuminated for you if it hasn't already is it's this is heavy learning so you must have just gone through a major karmic patch they're saying a major learning lesson of some sort so what we're going to do i'm going to get a little quiet do a little um they, they're saying a little romantic stretch is what you went through so we're going to uh whew, suddenly got very tired um and i'm already seeing a hammer right here so we're gonna just, I'm gonna get quiet and do a little work. Oh, hot. Okay. I have to get hotter <laughs> in order to, <laughs> to burn through this. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Okay, just removed a lot of heat. <laughs> Feels almost like you swallowed some lumps of coal. What have you guys been doing here? Hot, hot lumps, by the way. Okay, so we're just gonna, I'm just gonna uh, go and work under your feet for a second. We're gonna bless the ground because you need to get back on the ground, but you're underground right now, like way, way. So some of you have really sunk in your energetic vibration. We're just gonna pull you up See, look, you're way down there. We're going to pull you up, but first we're going to bless the ground and pull you back up. Okay. It's like you've lost, lost your way a bit. You've lost your resolve and you've lost your reserve, whatever that is. Okay. 
All right, if you get a little lightheaded, don't worry, it's just us. We're gonna pull you up right now. Okay, hands and heads and feet in. <laughs> pulled in. <laughs> You're gonna have to leave some of that anger at the door though. A lot of you are carrying a lot of anger. It's in the stomach area, so we're just gonna reach in, see, work quickly and see what we can pull out. But, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Thank you. Cause that's like acid. Okay. Thank you. That's a little hug, hug. <laughs> To shake you out of it, like shaking out the any excess <laughs> water or, or steam or whatever it is, dust. <laughs> okay, so if you've been having lung issues recently, you should be having some increased lung capacity now. Thank you so much, Angels Guides. Yay, thank you, everybody. They're so great. Uh, we have the ladies and gentlemen, the medical team. Yay. <laughs> They're so good. Um, so uh, they're just gonna go ahead and seal the space here. So um, let me see, where are you? Um, I just had to literally pull you up just a little bit more so your feet are actually on the ground now. Uh, here you are, there you are, there you are. Courtesy of your higher self. Look at your higher self like, hey, we need to pull this person up. And here you are back on, on the ground. Your job now, Scorpio, is to hold your center. And it's, you need a little instruction, a little bit of a reminder of what's right and what's not right, okay? Remember, just because somebody else does things that aren't right, don't get confused and then sink to that level and say, well, I have to respond in kind. No, you, it's okay to just be like, hey, that person did something that's not right, and then acknowledge that and then just choose for yourself how to comport yourself, how to behave, how to conduct yourself, how to move forward, because this is how easily we could get pulled right down into the nether regions, and I'm talking vibrational frequency, okay, um, because of the things that we go through. So um, as I'm saying that, I'm feeling your bowels like loosen up a little bit, which is good, because everything was like, uh, like this. So we want to, you can take your hands if you'd like, um, if you'd like to rub it a little bit, you can, but you don't have to, but take your hands and you can rub your abdomen outward like this, just, you know, around the sacral area and a little bit around the, the midsection as well, where, where your guts are. Don't forget the back on the lower back, uh, as well, just rubbing it out the sides of your, your waist and then into your hips, just rubbing it out, relaxing your thigh muscles as you do it. This is about relaxing. Right? So just wherever you were when you started watching this video, we have literally pulled you out of that frequency and we pulled you into a more divine frequency at the very best neutral here on earth, on the, on the physical. So your job is to um, understand, okay, I slipped a little bit, I slipped a little bit, it's okay. Now I'm here, I said slipped, you know, slipped a little bit in frequency, it's okay. But I'm also hearing slept. So remember that when you go into those depths of wherever you've been, you're actively going back to sleep. Because when you're running on these gut reactions, your unmet needs, all of that, it's a form of sleeping because the reality is when we're awake, we don't, we understand that those are all, um, our feelings about these things that have happened to us are all due to an interpretation that we have. And if we're still interpreting things in a way that give us, gives us pain, it means that we still have some more work to do around understanding and resolving that because anything in God's creation is not pain. If there's pain, it's because there's a misperception and on our part, and we're not able to see the creation itself. And that's due to, to programming, due, due to unmet wounds, like, oh, I need to be heard, and you can't get away from me because da, da, da. And so all of that, it's a call for healing. Okay, so wherever you've been, Scorps, welcome back to the land of the living. So to speak, look at, look at you. Ah, oh, I'm back. <laughs> All right. They're saying, yeah, I, oops, I, um, I shuffled it, but they're trying to contrast. You can rewind it a bit, but um, they're trying to show contrast to your higher self here. 
I'll just go find a card. It's not. Oh, there it is. It's right next to him. Great shuffling. <laughs> Look. See? Look how you're like dark angel. So scorpionic. But then look here. It's like, now here, this is you in the physical. We pulled you up. And here's your non-physical higher self, which is was asking, requested that you receive this service upward. Take the service elevator back up, right? And so you see how there's the devotion there to what? The light. So you have to hold yourself. Huh, there's a masculine. Yes, this is where we need to be. If you have not checked out the Libra reading that I just did, feel free that I just finished doing the Libra reading and I'm gonna publish it before the Scorpio reading. And it talks about um, divine counterparts. And I didn't drop the A word, but ascension is all involved in there. So union, and, and I reminded our viewers in that video that when we're talking about union, we're talking about alchemy. Anything that happens in the non-physical is always just a carbon copy of, excuse me, anything that happens in the physical is just a carbon copy of the non-physical. If you cannot see that, and if you would like to cite evidence in the physical world, whether you're citing anything on TV that you're seeing or whatever, please understand that just don't waste your breath because it's just because you can't see that link there. And maybe you don't work in the world of, of in the realm of energy. And so I would invite you that if you can't see it, to kind of do your own legwork to understand that connection. But there is a connection, we see it right here. The carbon copy is going to be physical level of expression, 3D stuff, body, um, DNA, which is physical here. Um, all of that, even the DNA takes its, its uh, directions from the energetic anatomy, its energetic counterparts, the energetic DNA, all of that, okay? And so uh, I'm seeing here that it's very, very important for you, Scorpio, to keep in mind your ability to stay present in the higher, in the higher frequencies. Now, uh, Scorpio, you guys are, are really good at being in the nether frequencies, in the lower frequencies. We get it. And that's one of your skill sets when you're vibing uh, you know, properly. When I say properly, I mean like, you know how you're like a filtration filtration system, your transmutation system. Uh, you can easily be in the dark. You can do all of that stuff because you're so good at transmuting it. So that's like filtration, lymphatics, right? <laughs> but if you are not, if the lymphatic system's not working, for example, the body's filtration system isn't working if you properly, then what happens is you get backed up, you get toxic. Right, and so that's why the lower expression of Scorpio is toxic, and the higher expression expression of Scorpio is transmutative, and so sometimes you know we slip up a bit. And we have to kind of help each other, and so today you've been helped to come back up. As as I'm saying this, I'm seeing you like I'm going to annihilate whoever, whoever, or whatever was the source of this anger. And for some of you, it's not an immediate source right now that you can think of. It's it's your stuff that got triggered, the stuff you've been carrying that got triggered in during the uh, gateway portal that we just had, the 1111 gate, Golden Gate portal. It, it was very, very strong. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that reminded me about what I was saying in the Libra reading. The Libra reading, I was t it was telling you, I had to remind them that it's alchemy. We're, we're alchemicalizing ourself, our masculine and, and feminine energies within. And for some people during this 1111 portal, that alchemization actually manifested as a divine partner or a twin flame union. Clearly, that's not going to be for everybody, right? But either way, everybody was having some male, female or masculine, feminine uh, balancing going on. So if you were in something that was not good for you, chances are you definitely got rid of it during this time. Oh, look. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Alchemical mutation. There's the gateway. Don't play, guys. Don't play. <laughs> right? So God, God's plan. Exactly. It's oh, look at this. Master healing. It's so funny because I, I heard this energy and I said God's plan. It said something like welcome back home. Something like that. Welcome back home. Master healing. But I'm seeing for those of you on this call that um, I think that you may have had to uh, learn a lesson here. This, there was a lesson. This is very lesson driven, whatever it is you had. No, I'm going to go quiet for like a few seconds because they're going to flash flash you with some type of energy, pink energy. So hold on. Okay. Ooh. 